Hey guys, Damien here. I know it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video, um, but I was really stoked about this new bass I got um, at the NAMM show this past year. Pete, Pete Schold finished my new four string, which is a lot like my signature six string. Um, but it's got a, a maple fingerboard, beautiful bird's eye maple fingerboard, and a maple top with the, uh, I believe it's an ash body. Swamp ash. I'm not the super technical guy, but I know it sounds good. Um, double cut version, but it's basically a double cut version of my single cut bass. Again, with the oversized pickup mold. There's two pickups in there, just regular two soap bar pickups, but placed inside of an oversized mold. Um, actually molded inside and molded. Um, and man, it's just a beautiful sounding bass. I wanted a four string that would really kind of do it all. Um, I don't slap that much, but I wanted to experiment with it a little bit, and I've always been such a fingerstyle guy, I have a bunch of fingerstyle basses, but this actually sounds good in pretty much any setting. Um, same controls as my six string, got the uh, bass, mid, treble, all with um, uh, little pots inside, you can adjust which frequency is getting adjusted, so essentially kind of a parametric EQ, pickup pan, um, volume down is active, up is passive, so you can use it with or without the preamp. Also nice if your battery dies on a gig and you don't have one or you're in the middle of a set, you just play it passively. I've, I've always preferred to have that option. Um, so what I'm loving about this bass is even completely flat, and I apologize, this is going to be through my computer speakers, so it's not really epic sounding bass stuff, but um, it really just... kind of finger poppy, you know, weird stuff that I do. And I can pull the pan back just a little bit to that back pickup. I just woke up, I'm not really in playing form, but... It just sounds great. I, I just uh, got back from a week-long recording session, um, a singer-songwriter session, and I wound up using this bass on over half of the album. And it just, uh, no matter what the vibe of the track was, I was just a slight tweak of the pickup pan, or maybe a little bit less bass, or a little bit more bass, and uh, I'd have the sound for the track. Uh, so this bass really wound up being very versatile, much more versatile than I was anticipating, actually. And it actually does a good slap sound. I don't make a good slap sound because it's not something I've worked on very much, but um, this is completely, completely fat, completely flat. <laughs> I'm just learning how to slap. So I'm, I'm really excited that I can start working on some of that stuff because that, that's just fun. Um, but aside from that, I just wanted to show you guys, man. Pete Schold, killing it again with my four string. And just nailed it. I couldn't be happier. And um, the action when I got it, he knows I like low action. So he set the action even, even lower than I preferred it. And it played great. I actually wound up raising the action a little bit. <laughs> And again, I apologize for the computer speaker sound. Um, it's not horrible, but it ain't my rig. Twenty six frets, actually, and you can see. Some of the easiest. I've never played a bass that was 
had so much access to the upper register. You can get all the way up there, and there's just nothing in the way of your hand. Um, so that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm loving this new bass. Thank you, Pete. And uh, yeah, I plan on doing a lot more videos soon. I've been, been remiss in my YouTube duties, so I apologize. I will get back on it. Thank you.